Which you may know actress Chrissy Metz from the long-running hit series on NBC called This Is Us. Now she has wrapped that show. She has begun a new chapter alongside Bradley Collins in a gorgeous, heartwarming children's book that celebrates faith, prayer, and the loving bond between a parent and a child. It is called When I Talk to God, I Talk About You. Hi everyone, it's Chrissy. And Bradley. And we have really exciting news that we just could not wait to share with you all. We have written our very first ever picture book. Chrissy, you close the chapter on This Is Us and decide when that you're going to be a children's book author. <laughs> well, you know, I taught preschool and I have a huge family. Yes. So children, I always have wanted to write a children's book. It was always something that was really important to me and I had ideas, but it wasn't until I met Bradley and we met over the pandemic and, you know, you didn't really spend a lot of time together. <laughs> we spent a lot of time talking and getting to know each other. And we just had the same sort of school of thought about how important it is to foster children, you know, to bolster them with self-esteem and self-confidence and that it was really important for us. And we decided that we should write a children's book about it. And it was just something that I, you know, when like something's just put on your heart, you're like, Oh, I, I feel like I should do this. It's called when I talk to God, I talk about you. And there's the journey to the dream of raising a child and watching them grow up right before your eyes. Bradley, describe the process for you working with Chrissy and diving into um, creating children's literature. Well, yeah, the process for me and where it came from for me is my, my grandfather was very sick when I was a child, wow. about the same age that this book is for. And this book, when we were writing it, the process was how do we explain that you can pray for your child, you, you can pray for your friends at school, you can pray for your pets, you can pray for your grandparents at a young age, and that it's okay to have a relationship because whatever is on your heart is what you need to talk to God and thank Him for, and also ask for guidance and help with. I think it, 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 in reading it, it really makes prayer more like a conversation than some complicated process <laughs> that, that we make it. Was that the intention? That, that was the intention and we had to keep on refining it, refining it and making it as simple and direct as possible. So it's told through through animals. It is a very complex, big concept to speak to a higher power that we can't necessarily see. And we really wanted to just, you know, remind people that you can pray anytime, any at any time of the day, anywhere. I mean, I'm doing it constantly throughout the, the day. I mean, for everybody and, and everyone in every situation and make it a, a concept that was just relatable. Nice. Take me inside the pages. Don't want to give away everything, but tell me the story. What what happens inside? You know, yes, yeah, it starts off, you know, with a with a mother bird sitting in a in a nest, and then you you find out that she she had a um, had a had a had a baby, and it's about wanting to become a parent as much as it is about being a parent. Yeah. So, you know, I've had a lot of friends who aspire to be a parent. And so I was, we were inspired by the story of, you know, whether you are fostering, adopting, or you're a biological parent, the dream and the hope and the wish to have a child to then instill, you know, the connection of God with them. And hopefully they create their own relationship with God. So it really is seeing children through a mentor, a parent, you know, their eyes and how they're loved and they're purposeful and they're really necessary and they're wanted. And I don't think that's a through line that we often hear a lot mm -hmm. um, and that we should, and I know I want to, and I would like to instill that in other people as well, that if you're here, you're purposeful. You know, those words of encouragement really at a very young age are put upon a kid and like, it's really how they walk through life. And if they don't feel encouraged or supported or wanted or loved, you know, it's it can make for a very difficult experience. And so we just want to sort of reiterate and remind and through the obviously story of a parent to child or a mentor to child that mm -hmm. uh, that they are important. And I think that's so important. Yeah, so important. I mean, we see it in the title. When I talk to God, I talk about you. How did you two arrive at such a beautiful title? Well, we had a couple different titles. Mm. Even if people aren't prayerful and they might have not even have prayed before, 
I think that people understand, especially going through a pandemic, especially going through something that we've never been through before, that we understand that there is something bigger and greater than ourselves. It just, it rang really well. And I felt like it really explains the book without going into too much detail. I mean, I don't know what is more special than someone saying, I spoke to God about you. When I Talk to God, I Talk About You is available right now wherever books are sold. For more uplifting entertainment, be sure to join us for Studio 5 tonight. We've got an inside look at a historic revival that makes a splash on the big screen in the film Jesus Revolution. Husband and wife duo Seth and Nerva make a return to the music scene and a man at the center of all the action on the ice as a professional hockey player glides in to share his story. You can catch that all on Studio 5 on the CBN News Channel tonight at 8.30 Eastern. You can also download the CBN News app or you can watch it 